minutes and a warm welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm delighted to have you here with us. Today is Sunday, March 12th, the third Sunday in Lent. Now let's observe a moment of silence to center our minds and hearts. Let's pray. Merciful God, the fountain of living water, you quench our thirst and wash away our sin. Give us this water always. Bring us to drink from the well that flows with the beauty of your truth, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 4. Now Jesus came to a Samaritan town called Sychar, near the plot of land that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, so Jesus, when he was tired from the journey, sat right down beside the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me some water to drink, for his disciples had gone off into the town to buy supplies. So the Samaritan woman said to him, How can you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for water to drink? For Jews use nothing in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you had known the gift of God and who it is who said to you, Give me some water to drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said to him, You have no bucket, and the well is deep. Where then do you get this living water? Surely you're not greater than our ancestor Jacob, are you? For he gave us this well and drank from it himself, along with his sons and his livestock. Jesus replied, Everyone who drinks some of this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks some of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. But the water that I will give him will become in him like a fountain of water springing up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water, so that I may not be thirsty or have to come here to draw water. He said to her, Go call your husband and come back here. The woman replied, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, Right you are when you said, I have no husband, for you have had five husbands, and the man you are living with now is not your husband. <laughs> this you said truthfully. The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, and you people say that the place where people must worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, because salvation is from the Jews. But a time is coming, and now is here, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father seeks such people to be his worshipers. God is spirit, and the people who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, the one called Christ, Whenever he comes, he will tell us everything. Jesus said to her, I, the one speaking to you, am he. Now, at that very moment, his disciples came back. They were shocked because he was speaking with a woman. However, no one said, What do you want? Or, Why are you speaking with her? Then the woman left her water jar, went off into the town, and said to the people, Come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. Surely he can't be the Messiah, can he? So they left the town and began coming to him. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food to eat you know nothing about. So the disciples began to say to one another, No one brought him anything to eat, did they? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of the one who sent me and to complete his work. Don't you say, there are four more months, and then comes the harvest? I tell you, look up and see that the fields are already white for harvest. The one who reaps receives pay and gathers fruit for eternal life, so that the one who sows and the one who reaps can rejoice together. 
for in this instance the saying is true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap what you did not work for. Others have labored and you have entered into their labor. Now many Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the report of the woman who testified. He told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they began asking him to stay with them. He stayed there two days, and because of his word, many more believed. They said to the woman, No longer do we believe because of your words, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this one really is the Savior of the world. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Having immersed ourselves in the word of God, let us now come together in prayer. If you feel inclined, I invite you to join in praying out loud. There's great value in lifting our voices in unison to the Lord, despite the physical distance between us. Thanks to technology, we can connect and be unified in the power of the Spirit. With that in mind, let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. In penitence and faith, let us make our prayer to the Father and ask for his mercy and grace. For your holy people, that they may triumph over evil and grow in grace, we pray to you, O Lord. Have mercy. For candidates for baptism and confirmation, that they may live by every word that proceeds from your mouth, we pray to you, O Lord. Have mercy. For the sick in body, mind, and spirit, that they may know your power to heal. We pray to you, O Lord. Have mercy. For the poor in spirit, that they may inherit the kingdom of heaven and see you face to face. We pray to you, O Lord. Have mercy. Let us commend the world for which Christ suffered to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending. 
by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And that concludes our time together. Thank you for taking a few moments to join us today, and we hope it's been a source of blessing for you. If you enjoyed this video, show us your support by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your loved ones. We also invite you to visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org, where you can learn more about our ministry and make a donation to support our work. Thank you for your generosity and for being a part of our life together. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.